Laura, what do you call a big pile of kittens? What? A meowton. <laughs> well, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Why? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> PMS should just be called overreacting. <laughs> what did Jay-Z call his girlfriend before they got married? Fiance! <laughs> oh my god, I think we need help with our comedic skills. I think we do. Oh! Wait! <laughs> wait! What? There's Mike Kaplan. Most recently from America's Got Talent. 2010 Last Comic Standing finalist appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman and on The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Oh my god, it is, it is! Mike, Mike hey! Come here! <laughs> so, tell us, how did you get your start in stand-up? Uh, it kind of traces its roots to here. Uh, my, Where's here? My house? Uh, oh yeah, I was, uh, I was in this house and I was like, <laughs> I'm funny! Uh, and now, it's all come full circle. Uh, <laughs> We are uh, on the campus of Bucks Rock, a uh, summer camp that I started going to when I was 11. And up until that point, my parents had, my mom had made me be a violinist and I didn't like it. And I was here and I had to be in the orchestra. But I made a friend here, uh, Ari, who had a guitar, and uh, Guitari, you couldn't call him. Uh, unless you wanted to, that's fine. Either way, uh, never thought of that before. It was real, really worth coming here. Uh, so. Uh, Ari and I were hanging out, and he had a guitar that he had left, like when he went to the bathroom or something, at, at a mall. This is, I, I think this is how it worked. But I, I picked up the guitar and I just started messing around with it, and then eventually I, just, I really loved playing the guitar, so I started teaching myself. And my dad gave me his old guitar, and then I got a new one for a present, and I just started writing songs, and then some of them were funny. And like here is the first place that I started really like performing my songs, like you know, at talent shows or coffee houses. I remember them. And then like when I was a staff member, like staff on stage. And then in college, I like played a, you know, the same thing, like out in Boston where, which was the, like the area I was going to school in. I'd go to like open mic nights and like music venues. And I found one comedy club. I was just looking to perform anywhere, uh, my music mostly. And I went to this comedy club and I played these funny songs that I had, or these funny songs that I had. <laughs> and uh, in between I would talk and uh, that was, I found out, a way to also make people laugh and it was, you know, a thing that I never, you know, was, wasn't my goal or intention, but uh, it was real fun. So I was like, oh, I don't even have to bring the guitar around anymore. Who is your comedy hero? Uh, I, I honestly love so many comedians. Like, I have a bunch of friends who do comedy who we all really, you know, like, love and support each other. And then, I guess the first comedian that I, the first comedian I ever really saw, like on TV, was Paul Reiser, uh, you know, from Mad About You, and uh, I actually got to open for him a year or two ago, which was kind That's of exciting. So I cool. As a child, as like a 12-year-old, I got his book, Couplehood, you yeah, know, all about yeah. marriage and relationships, and it didn't at all apply to my life. No. I was just like, this guy is so funny. <laughs> uh, and then when I got to college, the first live comedy show that I really saw that I, you know, that of a comedian that really resonated with me was just a local guy from Boston who lives in New York. Now he'd been, you know, been doing it since the early '80s, and he's just so funny. His name is DJ Hazard, and he was the first guy who like just said things that I was like, oh, like Paul Rafter was saying things that were funny but not like relevant right. to me specifically in my life. But this guy was saying things that were like in my brain. I'm like, oh wow, this is like, he just like lit it up. I was just like crying for the whole hour he was talking. Mitch Hedberg was one of my first favorites. Uh, I think somebody uh, like taught me about him here probably as well. All right, so now that we can't root for you, oh, yeah. who would you like to win? Uh, on America's Got Talent this year, I think as we're talking right now, there still are, there will be three wild card spots, so there's uh, some slim chance that we could still root for me, so I'll still say me. I mean, okay. I, legitimately, I, times. I have no idea. So <laughs> thank you for doing that. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I mean, of the people that were on with me uh, the week that I was eliminated, I got to be really good friends with Derek Hughes, the, the comedy magician. 
Uh, he's a great How do you guy. Do that? He's he's amazing. He's a, you know he, it's just a, a magic. It's just science. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Any of it works. It might not be real. But um, yeah, no. He's a, he's super. Uh, Letter I, guy. I, oh, I mean, he's so amazing. Yeah, U Uzi Uzir. Amazing. Uh, yeah, that. I mean, I have no idea. He just. I hoped to go on just to less terrify America, you know, it's just like right. seeing him, yeah. I saw him do it. We needed like an antidote after that. Yeah, I saw him do it during heart. rehearsal, oh my God. and uh, oh. man, he's he is pretty much in complete control of what he's doing, but uh, you know, I know people people die in the circus sometimes, so... Uh, true. But yeah, I'm rooting for him to stay alive, for sure. Okay. I, I mean, the, the singers are both, uh, you know, the, I think, and the band, like every everybody was really great. All right, we're gonna try something now that Laura just saw on Oprah. Okay. It's called. Video. I get a car. Okay. <laughs> Cars for everyone. Look under your couch. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna ask you to finish the sentence. Correctly. That's subjective. There's no right answer. Yeah. <laughs> we learn things. Okay. Howard Stern has the biggest hair. Heidi Klum walks into a bar. Gently. Daintily. <laughs> Daintily. Okay, why did Harry Mandel cross the road? Uh, that one's that one's a question more than a sentence. Yeah, it doesn't have to be one word. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, to uh, you know, say nice things to me because he's a nice man. He's a nice man. Um, can you do a Mel B accent? Uh, I will. The the first the first time she saw me, which didn't get aired, like her reaction, they just showed oh, good. me. I didn't see. Yeah, I jokes. I, she said. Uh, you're very, you're very confident. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Confident. You, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't laugh at. Uh, it's gonna go down from here. Yeah. yeah. You're very confident. Uh, you, you seem like you know what you're doing. Um, I laughed once or twice, and uh, but comedy is meant to make everyone laugh, isn't it? And I was like, nope. You sounded a little Indian at the end. There. It's meant we to make everyone laugh. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Bye.